The Government of Kenya, supported by development partners, prioritizes the management of climate-caused disasters by building the resilience of communities and improving the monitoring and response to the effects of climate change. The Government, through the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, is implementing various development projects aimed at improving livelihoods of the people in drought and flood-prone areas. The Western Kenya Community Driven Development and Flood Management Project is an initiative developed to improve the lives of people who had for a long time suffered as a result of poverty and flooding. Tulifanya mafunzo yetu kwa siku 21. Nikawa mmoja ambaye nilipaitika kwa mradi huo nikapewa ngombe kutokea pale nilifurahia sana maisha yangu ilianza kuwa mazuri uh, tena kwa saa hizi nimefaulu kupata ndama ambayo ninachifunia na nina, kuna faida ingine ambayo ninapata ambayo ni maziwa ninaitumia kwa familia yangu kulingana na mafunzo pia nimefaidika sana According to the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics of 2005, the poverty incidences in the former Western and Nyanza provinces stood at 61 and 65 percent respectively. These high poverty levels were occasioned by regular flooding, compounded with high population density, burden of diseases such as malaria and HIV AIDS, gender disparities in empowerment, lack of modern technology, soil erosion, and lack of diversified investment, among other challenges. <laughs> With support from the World Bank, the local community, and other stakeholders, WKCDD and FMP has made strides in working towards poverty reduction in the region. Tangu tuandishe mradi kwanza watu wako na furaha sana na hii mradi mradi tuko nazo Unapata school fees saizi yule member tuko naye awezi lia ako na nguruwe ama ako na kuku na shita ikiweko anausa hiyo nguruwe ama anausa kuku anapata school fees Ata uniform uwezi pata mama ama mzee analia sana vile ana nguruwe anausa na anapata school fees ana anapata uniform Ata zile mbeko za kupandilia the objective of the project is to empower local communities to engage in wealth creation activities, lower the incidence of poverty, and reduce vulnerability of the poor to adverse effects associated by recurrent flooding.
The project covers five counties of Western Kenya, namely Bungoma, Busia, Kakamega, Siaya, and Vihiga. Western Kenya region, especially Budalangi, has been associated with a flooding menace whenever it rains. Flooding wrecks havoc on the infrastructure, farmland, and schools besides claiming human lives. It is good news, however, that for the last three years, Budalangi has not experienced the perennial flooding and instead the community is now enjoying the fruits of the efforts of the government through the Western Kenya Community Driven Development and Flood Mitigation Project, not only to contain the floods, but also improve the livelihoods of the locals. I want to say this program has done a lot in, in, in Bunyala in particular and it has covered now the entire, the entire county. But the focus, the major focus is in Bunyala because of the floods. In 2008, some, some community leaders were taken to India you know, to go and uh, showcase what's happening in India and learn from, from uh, India. And these are community leaders who, are, who came back and also uh, disseminated the same information which they learned in India to the entire community in, in Bunyala. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of awareness, you know, a lot of awareness creations. People are have now understood. And from that time to date, you know, this problem has gone down, the flooding in, 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 in Bunyala. Flooding at the Budelangi Plains was usually caused by poor land use and degradation on the upstream areas of River Zoya. To address this problem, the project embarked on a multi-sectoral and integrated approach to improve the environment on the slopes of Mount Elgon by planting trees and sensitizing the community on appropriate land use techniques. Dikes were raised, weak areas repaired, seepage controlled, and river trainings done on the meanders of River Zoya. A total of 153 farms covering an area of 809 acres have had terraces laid and excavated. The exercise is concentrated in Kaptama and Koshok hotspots. All these efforts have resulted in a 23% reduction on sediment load in River Zoya. As you can now see, this is an example of river training. This is the river flowing down like that. And across here, we have done a river training that is 740 meters. This one, special programs, Western Kenya CDD and National Water, we did that river training together. And then we realized it was knocking at the river bank across here. So we decided to cut another short river training here that is 140 meters. So as a result of these river trainings, as you can see, the water is being evacuated very fast. Early warning systems were put in place to alert the locals on the water levels during the rainy season. By the use of hydromet stations and river level gauges, the water levels are monitored, data collected, and the information on weather patterns shared to the local community through Bulala FM community radio station. <laughs> Kimo hicho si kimo cha kutia shaka, lakini ni habari tu kujuza wewe mkazi wa bunyala kwamba kimo hicho kwa hivi sasa kimetimu e, mita tatu nukta tano. Kwa hivyo si kimo cha kutia shaka, endelea kushugulika na shuguli zako wakati ambapo hali takuwa inakuwa ni ya kiwewe au ya mshike mshike, basi kama radio ya Ranetu Blale FM, kutakujuza ewe mwanainchi. A recent research on the household impact assessment indicates that as a result of the flood mitigation initiatives, poverty levels among the local communities are on the decline, diseases reduced, 
and education standards in the local is on an upward trend. For example, by the time the project was launched in 2007, the number of households relying on agriculture was a paltry 25%. This has risen to 86% this year, while the average milk production per household has gone from 2 litres to 8.5 litres. Cooperative society hii ilianza kama group ndogo, ambayo wakulima walijumuika kwa pamoja wakiwa na malengo ya kufanya biashara. Western Kenya iliweza kutu train baada ya hiyo training tulikuwa na wazo kwamba tuwe na mtambo wa cooling plant. Western Kenya waliweza kukubali makadirio hayo na wakaweza kuweka mikakati na wakulima. Miongoni mwa hiyo mikakati ilikuwa ni kwamba wakulima waweze kuchangia 30% of the contribution. Western Kenya iliweza kununua vifaa pia ikaweza kutujengea jengo ambalo mmesimama ndani yalo na wakulima wakaweza pia kuchangia their 30%. Miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo waliweza kufanya pia ilikuwa ni kutrain wakulima wakaweza kupatia communities ngombe za maziwa wakaweza pia kupeana greenhouses na pamoja na hayo yote wakaweza pia kupeana exposure kwa wakulima wetu. Yeah.